Hey Scorpio, I'm Lindsay from Lindsay with Love and I hope you're having an amazing day. This message is for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising for mid-July of 2022. And Scorpio, as always, these are general messages, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. You may wanna check out your rising sign and your moon sign for a more comprehensive overview of what's happening for you mid-July of 2022. Okay, Scorpio, when I was meditating on your energy, the words, in a world so cold. It was actually that song, you know, it was like, um, it almost felt like, how could you be so cold? How could you be so heartless? Blah, blah, in a world so cold something like that. Those aren't the right words, but that song also like popped into my brain. So kind of this like cold, heartless kind of feeling. And the guides had me writing out Scorpio this. It says, Scorpio, it has been a rough month for you, if we remember correctly. Here's the deal though. Half of it is what you make of it. Are you reacting or are you consciously responding? The world can, underline, be cold, but it doesn't have to be. It is what you decide. Perhaps it is time to release something that has kept you in a low vibrational state for too long. Oh, Scorpio. Okay, let's talk about it. But Scorpio, before we dissect this message, I just want to remind you that I'm an energy coach and distant healer, helping you release the energy blockages that are truly holding you hostage to a mediocre life. Scorpio, it is your birthright to be happy, healthy, wealthy, abundant, prosperous, joyful, all of those beautiful, high vibrational things, but these energy blockages are keeping you stuck, okay? So Scorpio, if you're ready to be empowered, to become healed, to become the best version of you, click the first link in the description box below, get in on my private one-on-one -on -one coaching program. And Scorpio, if you're more interested in just energy healing and not really learning the ins and outs about energy healing, you can click the second link in the description box below. This is an energy healing subscription. It is at a super discounted rate right now, up to 60% off, depending on which one you choose. And there are limited spaces available for a limited time only. So Scorpio, if you are interested, I would recommend that you claim your spot now. And I hope to see you on my calendar soon. Okay, so let's chat about it. Here's the deal. So basically what they're saying is maybe... It says we, we, if we remember correctly, so I don't remember your last, your like July, beginning of July message. If it was a little bit rough, then that's what they're remembering. But it says this, here's the deal. Half of it is what you make it. So you have to find a way to release yourself from the environment. Like you have to be able to hold a high vibration no matter the situation. That is true mastery of your energy. When you are in like the worst situation, but you can find a way to still find some gratitude from it, a learning from it, some growth from it, appreciation for it, then you are really learning how to master your energy. And so it says, are you reacting or are you consciously responding? Very similarly, right? A lot of people that are not so aware, there's, there's an exchange of words and there's like knee jerk reactions, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, versus someone who's more aware, more consciously expanded, just, just really, honing in on them, they're observing, they're, they're able to bust out and see the larger picture, that's a conscious response. You can choose the words you wanna say, you say them calmly, you say them directly, you're not being rude, you're just being direct. Um, and it comes from like a really heart-centered space, right? So those are the options there. And so they wanna know which one is it? Are you reacting or are you consciously responding? And if you're reacting, then you need to start practicing, or I shouldn't say you need, I would recommend you start practicing being a little bit more conscious of your response, right? The world can be cold, but it doesn't have to be. It's, it's what you decide, right? It is what you decide. Is the glass half full or is it half empty? You tell me, it's what you decide. Um, perhaps it's time to release something that's kept you in a low vibrational state. Okay, so this is really powerful. Especially right now, Scorpio, I don't know if I mentioned this, I've been mentioning it in some of the videos, but I'm filming on July 13th, the full moon in Capricorn. And full moons are a wonderful time to release. Let go of the crap that is not serving you. Let it go. First of all, you'll feel much better. You will feel relief. Some people will feel the fake weight, you know, they always say the weight has been lifted off my shoulders. What weight, right? The weight of gravity, I don't know, but it will feel as a release, right? So physically you'll feel it, likely mentally and emotionally you'll feel it, and spiritually, it's really good for your spiritual development and advancement, right? Recognizing something is no longer serving you is so good for your spiritual development. You're telling the universe, I recognize this is something I don't need in my life anymore. I'm releasing it, I'm not mad, 
I'm not upset. I'm just simply releasing it because I don't have the space for it anymore. And then what happens? You release it. It frees up some space. We pretend there's a hole. You've, you've let it go. Now there's a hole. And guess what happens? Something higher vibrational can come in and fill that hole. That's it. Um, maybe called a gap. It's kind of, I don't want to, it's a little sticky. Um, there's a space, right, for it now, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. And so, Scorpio, I would say, you know, maybe do some journaling tonight. If you're catching this video on the 15th when I'm going to publish it, um, I would say there's still full moon energy, right? The full moon energy usually starts a couple of days before the full moon and lasts a couple of days after the full moon. So if you missed the full moon on the 13th, 14th, um, I recommend just go on the 15th. Go sit outside in the evening, find a nice quiet place, do some journaling. Um, my ritual typically is to write out things just on a blank piece of paper that I'd like to release. And then I either rip it up under the full moon or I burn it, right? I have my crystals charging with me. It's a very powerful thing, especially writing it down. The writing down and the ripping up is just this like really powerful energetic exchange of pen to paper, actualizing it, realizing it, bringing it to life, and then telling the universe, I'm, I am so done, I'm done. I usually rip it into small, small pieces, but I kind of need this paper. I just got a little excited. Um, <laughs> so yeah, rip it into tiny little pieces, but I can't do that with this paper. Okay, you get the idea? All right, Scorpio, I hope this message was helpful for you. I'm rooting for you. You know, another way to get a really um, positive mindset and mental thought loop going is to gratitude journal every single day. I will tell people this all day long. Most people don't want to listen to me. I don't really know why. Um, but it's helped me tremendously create a really positive mindset. It helps me manifest things much faster. So it's really a great tool to have and it's really quite easy. It's about five minutes of a day. Um, so you may want to check that out. I can link the video to how I gratitude journal at the end of this. So you know exactly how I do it to actually manifest what it is I desire. Just so you know, in case you missed a video, I manifested moving from the desert of Las Vegas to five blocks from the ocean in California in four months and one week through gratitude journaling. So it's very powerful stuff if you actually sit down and do it. All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed this message. Um, as always, if you did, please consider commenting, liking, and sharing, and also please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell when you do. It helps me reach as many people as I can in this lifetime to help them heal and to help them really realize that they have the power within themselves, just like you, Scorpio, to really raise your vibration and live the life that you desire. All right, Scorpio, I hope to see you all next week.